Shalom, Shalom, Yasharala, Shalom. All right, it's situated here. All right, first and foremost, we want to start off as always with Kol Halal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raha Hakudash, Kol Halal, all praises to Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, Bahashim, in the name of Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Bahashim, in the name of the Raha Hakudash which is the Holy Spirit, which gives us all knowledge, wisdom, truth, and understanding. All right? And double honors and salutations out to the elders and apostles, a great millstone for teaching us this truth and move well. Unto you we say Shalom, as well as the hopeful elect, the 144,000 and the innumerable one-third out here studying diligently with all sincerity to make your election assured. Unto you we say Shalom as well. All right. Now, you know, for those of you who follow me, you already know. We start off with 1 Thessalonians 5.21, prove all things and hold fast to which is good. All right, so if you have your swords with you, I suggest you pull them out of your sheaths, okay, and follow along as that is the correct way to teach and to learn, okay? All right, now, this is just a quick lesson. I mean, Lord's will, it will be edifying, all right, um, unto you Jake's out here, and it's really addressed to you men, Maakim out here, all right? Um, it's just very important in these days that we're in right now, in this latter end, man, that we become very circumspect in how we walk, okay? Who we deal with, these women out here in relationships, you know, whether personal or business, um, and just uh, be mindful, you know, judging the spirit by the spirit, you know, um, of the things that are, 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 that are around you, okay? Because um, we are seeing seducing spirits and, and all manner of wickedness that is just really flourishing right now in Babylon, you know? So it's really important for, you know, you Jakes, especially your younger brothers out here, you know, um, to really, um, you know, just take heed, you know, to the knowledge and wisdom that's being, you know, that's being, you know, poured out through the chief place of concourse, which is the YouTube here, and the brothers out here who we do these lessons to edify. You know, it would behoove you to um, really take heed to, you know, the message, all right, and, you know, be circumspect in who you're dealing with out here in the world, all right? So, anyway, um, the name of this lesson is Warning, Beware of These Witches, Jake, okay? Now, um, I'm just pretty much going to get right to the point, man, all right, because we know there are a lot of brothers out here who have become absolute simps over these wicked women, okay? Today's generation is at a pinnacle of wickedness, all right, especially uh, since social media has come onto the scene, Okay, these platforms have turned our women into straight up hoes, man. Okay, seducing spirits that will keep men in lust constantly. Okay, these women will upload social media or overload it, I should say, with ass shots, you know, twerking videos and things. What's that new one out? Um, small waist, pretty face, and a in a big ass dance and all that. You know, <laughs> this. <laughs> You know, the the level of thirst is just on a whole nother level. But see, then again, they'll turn right around. These same women will turn around, okay? And they will call you thirsty for giving them the attention that they are so dying for, okay? Whether it be through likes, you know, or follows or DMs or, you know, uh, 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 fans only, you know, only fans or whatever it is, okay? These women are absolute hoes, man, okay? And all of them that do this shit are exactly that. I said it. Yeah. Okay, because y'all need to cut that shit out, okay? The scriptures warn us men about you type of women that do that type of shit, okay? And, you know, call hello, yahweh, bashim, yahweh, sha. We are at the end of this whole thing here, man. All right, so I'm just going to pull a few scriptures here that, um, and precepts that came to mind um, when putting together this lesson. Um, it was actually a lesson that I got from this, um, it was sent to me, this um, Judite woman. She was basically just warning the men out here of a lot of wickedness that's going on. And there's a video, and I'm going to get to it. Um, uh, the first, um, precept, um, we go to, we're going to go to is Ecclesiastes 25, 21, stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure. Right. So too many of you men out here get captivated by these women. All right. On the gram and on TikTok. Okay. You'll see them. You, you see them, you know, anytime you go in there, they're holding up the camera, you know, they're batting their eyelids, you know, just staring into the camera, you know, switching angles and shit, you know, trying to draw you in with that. Aren't I pretty spirit? Okay, not saying shit, okay? They're just basically just staring into the camera. Really, to be honest, looking stupid as hell, man. All right? If you can see past all that and just see the spirit. You know, they look retarded. I'm just going to be honest with you. And y'all ladies need to cut that dumb shit out. All right? Which brings me to Ecclesiastes 26 and 9. The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. Okay? So, 
Here's a question for you. Why do you think these women are now out here running around with these goddamn raven wing eyelashes on, man? What's with this? Can, 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 can y'all expound on this, you know, for us? You know, I mean, you can go to the store, you can go anywhere. You see these women, they're coming in with bonnets in their head, you know, with any manner of clothes on, but they got them damn broomstick eyelids, uh, eyelashes over their eyelids, and some of them, they, they're so thick, they, you, you can't, they can't even see out of them. No one goddamn well, we look right at you, no, they made your eyelids or your eyelashes, Salakia. You know, but this is, this is just, this is the extent of the wickedness, okay? And the Heavenly Father knows his children very well. This is why he specifically talks about, you know, the eyelids here, all right? And this is just, um, <laughs> right now, this is just going on a whole nother level, man, all right? Um, Proverbs 6 and 24 through 26. Uh, in fact, let's get it. To keep thee from an evil woman, from the flattery of the tongue of a strange woman, lust not after her beauty in thine heart in your mind, neither let her take thee with her eyelids. For by means of a whorish woman, a man is brought to a piece of bread. <laughs> An adult, and the adulteress will hunt for the precious life. Right? So these whorish women out here, basically, that's what the scripture is saying, it will break you, Jake. Okay? Financially. Okay? Spending all of your money. Spiritually draining you. Okay? They're, they're, they're likened to succubus, man, which are basically female demons. Okay, and if and um, if it's a married woman, you know, out here doing this, which we see a lot of Ramar, this is gonna cost you your life, Jake. All right, that's in our law. Okay, but do you think these women care? No, these women can care less. Okay, they will jump on any ride they can. All right, for their own desires. All right, and this is why being hung up over a woman, especially in these times, will bring a man to his low estate, including suicide. You see a lot of that ramping up. Okay because of the seducing spirits and shit that are on these jakes, you know, uh, 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 from these women out here. Okay, Ecclesiastes 25 and 13. Give me any plague but the plague of the heart and any, wick and any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. Right. So we see that just as plain as day. What, what comes to mind when you, when you think of that? Hell have no fury like a woman scorned, right? And there are a lot of scorned ass women out here. Okay, doing a lot of wickedness. Now, I'm just going to kind of cut straight to this with this video. There's a video that I came across. I mentioned earlier, this Judite woman. All right. She's basically warning you, Jake's out here, this new wave. All right. Um, that these women are on right now. All right. And it's not really new, to be honest with you, but it's um, beginning to happen more and more on a major scale. All right. And what we're talking about here is witchcraft. Okay. These wicked ass women are heavy into practicing witchcraft and casting spells on you, Jake. All right, this is why a lot of you Jakes uh, be gone over these women, man. Straight simps out here. You can't really figure out why, you know? These are seducing spirits, and this shit is really happening right now, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and play this video here and let you check it out here, and um, go ahead and let this woman speak. Uh, but it's just a, on a whole nother level. Let's get it. Men, you need to watch who you fucking with. I'm in a whole lot of witch, oracle, empress, black women coming into the craft type group. It is hundreds. I have seen hundreds of pictures of you dudes. Do you understand me? That these women putting inside of these groups and on full moons and on new moons, mm. they straight up casting full flat out spells on y'all because y'all out here being dirty. Look, black man. Tell that woman if you fucking around with somebody else. Like they straight up fucking y'all lives up and y'all think it's some invisible God out here making you have car accidents, making you be uh, being stuck to a woman and you can't never let her go and you can't never get away from her. Well, actually, that's scripturally true, you know. Um, as we say, we know the Heavenly Father, you know, creates good and evil. You know, I, the Lord, do all these things, roughly paraphrasing. So, yeah, there are spirits out here that the Heavenly Father is putting out here on these wicked-ass men out here that are falling simps over these women. All right? So, she's actually accurate there. She didn't put blood in your motherfucking food. She got your picture in the middle of a group with hundreds of other little young-ass witches that ain't got no guidance, that ain't got no type of structure and discipline over them, and they just cast it. You got 30 to 100 motherfucking women, y'all, sitting here saying, drive him into hell. May he pay for what it is that he did to mm. her. Even if 
you just made a simple ass mistake. You know what I'm saying? You didn't piss her off today. When you out here dating these women, you need to ask them what the fuck they believe in. I don't care. Just because she a Christian do not mean that she is not playing around with her weak friends. But oh, she's not a Christian. Blood magic, the power of blood. Do you understand? Black women don't believe that motherfucking Jesus Christ shit. We know what the fuck our blood do. We have always known. I'm telling you, black men, watch who you fucking with. Almost every black woman know that if she want a man to put blood in his motherfucking spaghetti, put that shit in his motherfucking teeth, whatever, they out here doing it, and I'm watching them. Black men, y'all better watch our motherfucking selves and start getting y'all life right. Quit playing with these women out here. They sinking y'all. All y'all asses need to lock up. Y'all in some fucked up shit out here. Um, the, the, you know, the future of the black man these young black men, it's not fucking looking good. Like, y'all need to get into y'all wisdom and tell y'all all all motherfucking knowledge and find out who you are. Find out who your ancestors are. Y'all out here fighting against shit y'all don't even know y'all fighting against. Like, this shit powerful as hell. Watch y'all selves. Watch who y'all date. Check your motherfucking food. Check your teeth. Check your motherfucking toothbrush. Don't let no motherfucking body get no hair. Hey. Y'all better protect yourself. That's as much as I can tell you without, you know, going into other shit. Fucking save yourself. Wow. So there it is. And to be honest, she's actually on point with some of her comments, all right? Um, as the head of the man is to be in order, but a lot of you jakes are just wicked as hell, man. All right? And for that reason, the Lord will give you a wicked-ass woman just to destroy you, man. All right, these things aren't a coincidence. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and pull it. Ecclesiastes 26 and 23. A wicked woman is given as a portion to a wicked man, but a godly woman is given to him that fear of the Lord. You see? So a man's wickedness will, com will be complemented with a wicked woman. Okay, that's how it works. So unfortunately, a lot of you simps have fallen hard for this curse, man. These women are becoming more and more wicked out here, man. All right? Um, as I said, what's the saying? Um... What is it? Ha uh, hell have no fury like a woman scored. All right. And that's usually the breaking point of a wicked woman. All right. Um, any women out here doing this shit, man, y'all just going to be put to death, you know. And, you know, the fact that, you know, she's got the spirit put on her to actually come out and, and say this stuff. But, you know, she's also going to be one of them, too, as well. She said it in, in the beginning of her video. She's in all these, you know, circle groups and stuff that, you know, do all this witchcraft and all this shit. Her ass going to be put to death, too. This ain't something to play with. Okay, our women ain't supposed to be dabbling in this type of shit, man. Okay, and there's a, and there's a, and there's and there's and there's a price to pay for that. All right. Exodus twenty two and eighteen. Thou shalt suffer, Slakia. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. There it is, plain and writing. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. So just like in the ancient days, witches are to be put to death, man. They cannot live. You fucking with that black magic and all that shit? A woman is to be put to death. Now, Scripture says the eyes of the Lord are on this sinful kingdom. All right? America. All right? The Lord gave the proper ordinances of man and woman for the household pursuant to 1 Corinthians 11 chapter. Right? But because Esau has given our women the freedom to gather abroad, basking in their liberation, only to find out that a woman with no head, a male figure, does not know how to choose a man. Okay? And this is also part of a problem, all right? Women are emotional creatures who move off of feelings, you know? And this is why a lot of you women are single mothers. Loud mouths, you know, can't be taught or told anything. Disrespectful, proud as fuck, dressing provocatively. Um, then when niggas drive through your ass, okay, you hurt and you pissed off and angry and you want revenge, okay? And now he, you are here entertaining witchcraft and casting spells on Jake's, man. All right, these same Jake's you chose to fuck with, right? Why? If he was a piece of shit, okay, why did you choose to fuck with him in the first place? Well, we know the answer to that because it's a reflection of your poor, cho of your poor choices, okay? You thought a nigga was cute, you know, or had a nice body or got some money or whatever. All carnal shit, okay? That's built off of emotions and feelings, all right? And when you hurt, you become wicked and vengeful as hell. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell right there, all right? So again, men, this is what we have to be very mindful of when we out here in this walk, man, and when dealing with these women out here, okay? Especially with us men in the Lord, as Paul said, you know, it's better that you not even deal with a woman. You know, and we get lonely, you know, the Heavenly Father created, you know, the woman for the man. You know, it is not right that a man should be alone, you know what I mean? But in these days, it's best, 
I'm so sorry. It's best because our women are utterly destroyed. Ecclesiastes 7.26. And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as bands. All these are traps. Whoso pleases God shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. Right. Goes back to this, the precept we just pulled out. Um, a wicked woman is a portion of a wicked man. Right. So all this stuff, you know, is 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 very, very important to take heed to. All right. As I said, it would behoove you, Jakes, to really listen, you know, to the brothers that are out here, you know, and bringing this out. These are the words, the oracles of the Heavenly Father that are warning you men. OK, warning, warning us, you know, how to be and how to walk, because the Heavenly Father created everything, both good and evil. All right, so he's giving you a bone, you know, Jake, to be able to let you know, look, he's giving you the blueprint, the guiding line. All right, don't be simp, don't fall for these women and their beauty and batting their eyes, you know, fat asses and all that shit. It's snares and traps, man. All right. So this is what we have to understand. Um, Salaki, where is that? Oh, okay, Ecclesiastes 726, for I find more bitter than death, a woman whose hearts are snares and nets and hands are as bands, who please God shall escape her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. Right. Now, I actually just did a little bit of research here and um, kind of just to find out because I was curious. Um, so I'm just going to read a little something. Um, it says here in 2011, it was reported that 72% of black babies were born to unmarried women. Okay, to unmarried Eves. Okay, Judite women. And as of 2015, at 77.3%, this is rising, okay? And this is in 2015, okay? So from 2011 to 2015, this is just four years. Look how much it's, 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 it's risen, okay? And that was just then. So how much more now? So the question is why? Why though? Why is this, why is this happening? Well, Sirach's 26 and 12. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler. When he has found a fountain and drink of every water near her, by every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. <laughs> so this is why a lot of you single mothers out here are exactly that, single mothers. All right. The hoardings of you women today. OK. Basically, she will open her legs for any Jake out here, especially if he has money. OK, this is why it's important for you men out here to not simp over these women, man. They will destroy you any way that they can. OK, so this is the reason why a lot of you women out here are single, because as I said before, it all goes back to the male. It all goes back to the ordinance that the Heavenly Father gave. Now, most of our, our, our women today don't have a father in the house OK, or an older brother, you know, or someone that, you know, a man, a male figure out here. That's that's to teach you and show you, because in our in, in our culture, the father chose the husband. You know why? Because back then, a woman just as today would see a dude, oh, no, he's cute. You know, he, he got muscles. He, no, no, hell no. Because a real man's going to look at that man and see, is he going to be able to take care of her the way I would take care of her? Okay? It's a property thing. Okay? This is why when a woman is, a, when, when, when she's young, she has her father's last name. All right? That's his woman. That's his property, Salakia. Right? And then he gives her off to another man to marry. And then she then takes that man's last name and she becomes his responsibility, his property. You see? So that's the whole the whole purpose of, of a father in the household. But because you women decided to get up with E and do the whole, you know, women's liberation and kick the man out the house. You know, a lot of these men out here today were raised in these single mother households. All right. A lot of these Jakes are here to destroy it because they didn't have a father in the house. You see? You see how the whole domino effect takes takes place. All right. So this is why it's very, very, very important, as I said in the beginning, to be circumspect on who you're dealing with and how you walk. OK, who you who you talk with, who you communicate with, who you lay up with, who you tell your secrets to and your business. You see, all these things are important. Proverbs 31 and three, give not thy strength unto a woman, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. You see? Now, a real man who desires the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Lord will not commit such folly unto himself. Okay? He will have the ability to judge the spirit of a woman. Okay? He will have the spirit of discernment and not deal with that woman. Okay? I think it was Paul who spoke, as I said, um, the conditions of um, a woman or a wife. Um, yeah, uh, 1 Corinthians 7, 27 through 29. Um, 
Art thou bound unto a wife? Seek not to be loosened. Right. If you are with or have a wife, don't, 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 don't seek to divorce or to let her go. Okay. Are thou loosened from a wife? Meaning, do you not have a wife? Seek not a wife. Right. Don't look for one. These are the times that we're in right now. Okay. But if thou marry, thou has not sinned. And if aversion marry, she has not sinned. Nevertheless, such all shall have trouble in the flesh. Now, why is this? And he's basically, you know, telling you right then and there, you know, if you have a wife, don't, you know, depart from her, you know, but if you, if you don't have one, don't go looking for one. All right. Um, and it's not a sin if you get married, but just know. And in these times, especially more than ever, you shall have trouble in the flesh. Why is this? Well, it's simple because the fashion of this world is all vanity and vexation of spirit. Okay. It's all distractions and wickedness. There's no good thing out here. Okay. Our women are destroyed and our men have lost their way. Okay. So it's best to be single in these times, man. All right. Because Drake's judgment is coming. A lot of you Jake's are out here trying to hold on to a relationship that's destined for ruin. Let me ask you, how do you know that that woman that you're trying to hold on to, how do you know, or even that man for that matter, you, that you're trying to hold on to um, is not destined for harsh judgment from the Heavenly Father? Hmm? How do you know that? Again, judging by the spirit, being using discernment, being circumspect on who you're dealing with. Okay. And goes on to say, but I spare you. But this I say, brethren, the time is short, right? What time? The times we're in right now. Okay. It remaineth, it remaineth that both they that have wives be as though they had none. Why? Because we know the heavenly father, for one, as the men of the Lord, we are married unto the heavenly father. Okay. And the heavenly father is a jealous God. So if you're going to be married to a woman, you know, if she's a virtuous woman, which is literally impossible to find in this day and age, but if she is, you know, she's going to understand your, her, your, your walk to the best of her ability. And, um, she's not going to, um, she's going to play her position. Okay. But for most men, you know, that are out here that are married, what do you do? You, 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 um, your attention's on your wife and your family. Okay. You're not giving attention onto Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay, you're, 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 you're pleasing your wife. You're focusing on pleasing your wife and not pleasing the Heavenly Father. Okay, and that goes against the ordinances. Okay, all right, that are written in 1 Corinthians 11 chapter. Okay, as it is written, roughly paraphrasing, um, the head of every woman is the man. Okay, and the head of the man is Yahweh Shah. And the head of Yahweh Shah is the Father, Yahweh. You see? So just as we are married to Yahweh Shah, we have to go to him, all right, for our guidance, for our understanding within these scriptures, all right, for our righteousness. So therefore, our wives, you women, have to do the same thing with your husband, us men. That's proper order. Anything outside of that is headless. And that's a lot of reason why you women are butthurt out here, because you made all the wrong decisions, did all the fucked up shit. Okay, you ran around here with all these no good, wicked ass niggas, and they dove through your ass left and right. And now you sitting here, now you sitting on the sideline, hurt, butt hurt. And now you want to go casting spells, and they ain't going to do nothing but, but uh, backfire and burn your ass up. Because the Heavenly Father's not playing with that. What well, scripture says, thou shalt not suffer a wish to live. All right, so you need to take that L and, and, you know, fall back, repent, and get your life together. But this type of shit, this area, this direction, witchcraft and shit, that ain't where you want to go. All right, that's not going to end well for you. Okay, and you have to know that. All right, so this is why keeping your eyes single in this walk is best. All right, our time to renew, to be fruitful, to rest, and have rulership is at hand. Okay, this is not our world. Okay, so these why, this is why... Not only this, but all type of stuff is happening, you know, to the, to, to, to the Israelite man, to the Israelite nation. Okay. So this isn't just uh, you know, just a one-off, you know, we can go through a plethora of different issues pertaining to, uh, 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 Jake and even relationships, right? It's Micah 2 or 10. Arise ye and depart for this is not your rest, right? Because it is polluted and it shall destroy you even with sore destruction, right? This place is polluted, man, in every way. Like I said, you go on social media, you see nothing but that's porn. Okay? 
niggas is out here running up, you know, uh, you know, covering other of other men's women and women, you know, laying with this and and fuck and messing with this woman, and it's just all it's all out of order here, man. Okay, this place is polluted. Okay, and it will destroy you. Okay, with sore destruction. Okay, we are in the 11th hour and this is not the time for marrying or giving into marriage. All right. Or whoremongering. All right. Our women have become our women out here have become so wicked that they have actually become our enemy, man. Okay. And this video that we see here that we watch backs that up. Okay. Eve is just wicked as hell, man. All right. And you men need to understand something. And I'm talking to you men. We are still in captivity here, man. All right. This is not the time to be laying up, pillow talking with these women, you know, hee hawing and all that shit. No, no. OK, we we, we at the exit door. We about to get up out of here, man. All right. What the scriptures say, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all uh, the kingdom of Yahweh and all these things shall be added unto you. All what things? All your desires. You want that woman? You want this? You want that? Seek the heavenly father first. All right. And ask for it in the kingdom. If you're a righteous man, you're going to get it. You're going to get more than you ever dreamed. Once we're in our world, though, Jake, okay, and out of this here shit, okay, this is what's important. You know, we have nothing here to stand on. Our, our own women have become our enemy, man, our worst enemy. Baruch 3 and 8. So this is what we have to understand where you're at. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. What day? This day where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord our power. So this is why we're here. You ain't here to be trying to find no 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 chicken lay up with man. Okay? You know, you know make have this family and you know and you know trying to gen, you know build generational wealth and no 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 that's not why you're here. Okay? That's that, you know, again, it goes back to what Paul said, you know, be as if you are by yourself, even if you have a woman, man. All right. Because these are the times that we are in. OK. And these things are very important. All right. We are not here for pleasure. The real men of the Lord are trying to get the hell out of here, man. And it is written. Our time is short and spending it with these women will only bring upon sore strokes onto you, Jake. These damn women out here are playing with sorcery and they think this shit is cute. OK. But at the end, it's okay, though, okay, because the Lord know these women were beyond this wicked ass shit and warmed us on what to do in that time. Ezekiel 13 and 17. Now, O son of man, set your face against the daughters of your people who prophesy out of their own imaginations. Prophesy against them. And that's what we're doing. And women like this going to burn in hell. Okay. And even though she's out here trying to warn Jake's at the same time, but she's still double-minded because she's involved in the same shit she's trying to warn these men about. You see? This is this the type of woman that you want to deal with? All right? This is why staying under the hegemony of Yahweh al Shah is key, all right? You won't fall into these traps, man, with these women, okay? This brings me to Revelations 2.12. Now we're standing, I have a few things against thee. Against who? You women, because thou suffered the woman, the Jezebel, all right? which calleth herself a prophetess to teach and seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. Right. These niggas out here are losing their mind, man, losing their wits. Some men have gone out of their wits for a woman, as scripture says, roughly paraphrasing, losing your money, you know, your, your, your job, you know, your, your health, you know, your spiritual, everything, you know, all chasing after trying to please these damn women, man. OK, and this is just not the spirit that you want to be in. All right. These are strong spirits out here. All right. Jake got all kind of bullshit for 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 <laughs> he used to be on all kind of bullshit. Oh, for, for the box. OK. And this is why a lot of these women out here are just bugged the fuck out. All right. And can't be dealt with. All right. And got the nerve to say, well, you know, these niggas, he can't he can't deal with me, can't handle me. No, bitch. A real man don't need to be a real woman doesn't need to be handled. Okay, she already knows how to behave. She already knows how to act. All right. This is why it's very important. And to my brothers out here, always keep this in the back of your mind when dealing with a woman, because this is one of the most powerful scriptures in the book pertaining to a woman. Ecclesiastes 25, 24 of the woman came the beginning of sin and through her we all die. 
All right, man, that just has a whole mouthful right there. I mean, you can do a whole, you can do hours of lesson just on that one verse, man. All right, because it touches so much. Okay, so just remember that. Okay, of the woman became the beginning of sin and through her we all die. So why would you want to follow around, man, and be simps, man, for these women out here, man? Not holding them accountable for anything, bending over backwards and doing whatever they say. Going out of your way just to please them, to make them happy. You spend all your strength making these women happy, okay? And in the same time, you know, you and then you fuck around and you do, like she said, you know, it may not even be on purpose. You know, maybe something may have happened, a mishap or something. And now that woman's, she, you don't turn that woman into a damn demon now. And now she ready to cast spells on you and you out here fucked up. Beware of these women out here, Jake. All right. This is this is very, very important. All right. And watch how you deal with these wicked ass women out here in the city confusion, man. If you don't, you're going to get caught up in these traps. All right. So anyway, um, I just wanted to hit y'all with a quick one. You know, um, I pray this essence, this lesson was edifying. And I want to say, call hello, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashim, Makakudash, and it's on to the next. Shalom.